Hi everybody, my name is Kimberly and welcome back to my channel. Please give a like, a share, subscribe if you'd like um, to see more of my content. So right now I'm going over a subscription box that I have gotten since June. This is called The Plant Club and if you're new here you'll see I will go through the little brochure that gives you some information about a specific plant that they um, provide to you during that month and then at the end I show you the plant and give you some of my personal experience tips and tricks that have worked for me for as long as I've had it so far. So this is for August of 2021 and it's variety number 14. Again, if you are new here, I don't know what these variety means. I'm not sure if it's specific to the plant club or not, but if you know, please let me know. So it's the plant club. Every plant has a story and I will link their information below in the description if you'd like to sign up for the subscription and then share every plant has a story hashtag plant club hashtag fatsia japonica and www.theplantclub.com so inside here it gives you the plant classification scientifically a little story about it how to pot it up the contents of the box some tips and tricks some fun facts and then it's care guide and then i go ahead and show you what the plant looks like so first off this is a fatsia japonica Yes, I said that right because it gives me a cute little phonetic spelling of it. So I think that's how you say it. <laughs> so it's classification. The division is Magnolia Phyta. Its class is Magnolia Psida. The order is, is Apalace and the family is Araliaceae. Ara I'm not great with Latin names, so please, please help me out if you know. So its little story is Greetings, Plant Friend. It's time to shake hands with your new eight-fingered friend, Fatsia japonica. Also known as Japanese Aurelia, it's a fun and different variety that comes to us from the southern regions of Japan and Korea. This plant naturally occurs as an evergreen shrub with lobed leaves growing in a spiral arrangement around the stems. As a winner of the Royal Horticultural Society's Award of Garden Merit, the Japanese Aurelia has gained popularity as an indoor plant and boasts the ability to improve air quality by removing certain toxins. When grown outdoors, a happy specimen will produce clusters of small white flowers in the late fall to early winter and can grow up to 15 feet tall at maturity. The Plant Club. And then it gives you some potting instructions, which I do again follow. And if you'd like to see how to pot it up. Um, if you're more of a visual learner, go ahead and let me know and I will make those videos in the future as well. So the step one, which is to fill the container about a third full of soil, digging a hole in the center for the plant. Step two was to remove the plant from the grow pot and gently separate the wet excess soil from around the root ball. Step three was to insert the plant into the new decorative container and fill the voids with soil. And step four was to add the pebble topper and the plant tag. So in the box, it came with these items. It had the Fatsia japonica, which is the plant, had a modern topper, the plant tag kit, the decorative container, premium soil, and the plant coaster. And now we go into tips and tricks that for healthy plants, or at least for a healthy, this type of plant. So it says, the fascia like a cool place to thrive in the shade away from hot, dry, or overly sunny locations. To maintain a bushy growth habit and healthy leaves, your fascia would appreciate pruning. The easiest way of doing so is by carefully removing one-third of the oldest stems each year. That's good to know. Be mindful that your fascia is a tropical plant. However, it does not enjoy wet, soggy soil. If you notice your plant leaves starting to drop or yellow, it's being overwatered. Although this is a very hardy plant, it does not necessitate, necessitate any additional forms of humidity to thrive within your home. It should, however, be kept away from cold drafts. Okay, and here are some fun facts about this plant. It says, this plant has many other common names, such as a big leaf paper plant, Fig leaf palm, Japanese Aurelia, grass 
glossy leaved paper plant and a false castor oil. And not all of these plants look exactly the same, consisting of variegated forms like the spider's web or Annalise. All right. And then here is the care guide for this specific plant. It likes partial shade to low light. It likes to be watered once a week or when the soil is completely dry. It's best away from direct sunlight. And its temperature requirements are between 60 to 70 degrees Fahrenheit with a minimum of 55 degrees Fahrenheit. And this is my fancy japonica. has its little topper, um, little white pebbles as a topper, and then its plant tag. And this really beautiful, like, white, but it's textured ceramic pot. And then the pretty, like, green tint. But what I like is that even though it doesn't have a drainage hole, it does have like the drip tray here. So it can water out. And then these are the leaves. <laughs> They're very pretty. So it's cute that it said it was eight fingers because I didn't realize that they have like eight, eight like little loaves on there, but it does. It was definitely really healthy when I got it out. I was surprised with the quality of it from shipping, but this guy, I think I overwatered too much the last time, to be honest, but that one looks really good. My dad thought that this, <laughs> this was a marijuana plant, <laughs> but yeah, I thought that was funny that he thought that. But here is my Fatsia Japonica. Let me know, do you guys have one of these? Do you like them? What are your care? routines for them. I just, this one actually goes right here in my greenhouse. That's why there's like an empty space there. But yeah, here she is. Bye for now.